Hi everyone. Today on the content, we're going to be looking at the words fake it till you make it. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Why pretend to be something you're not? Thinking that in the process of pretending, you will eventually become what you're pretending to be. And you know, in this generation of social media, um, you know, fraud stars everywhere, you know, people that just want to make money without putting in work and effort and all that, you know, that saying just keeps floating around. And I see a lot of young people actually believing it that, you know, you have to actually fake it to make it. And that's why I decided to shoot this content to be able to make you understand that there's actually nothing there's no truth, there's no element of, there's no basis to that statement. It's delusional and it will definitely lead you down the wrong path. What do they mean by fake it till you make it? Can you fake good health when your health is actually bad? Can you fake an abundant account when there's nothing in it? Can you fake love when it's not real? Yeah, 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 yeah. At the beginning it will look like it's making sense, but People will see through you. They will, they will recognize the real you behind all the facade, all the, all the mirage you're trying to create of you being something you're actually not. Then it becomes really hopeless. Then things like depression kick in, you know, second guessing yourself, trust issues, and a whole array of other negative things just come as a result of faking it to making it. There's really nothing like that. I haven't got to do where I am by faking it to make it. In fact, I remember going up to you know certain times and you know stages in my life where my friends you know would try to fake it to make it, and you know I always took a step back because I'm like I can't wear a Gucci belt if I can't afford a Gucci belt. I can't drive a luxurious car when I can't afford it. You see people you know buying things that they can't afford to impress people that don't even care about them. It's, it's really, it like it puzzles me because I'm like, why put yourself through that stress to impress somebody? How about impressing yourself? Stop, that's the way I live my life. I impress, I like to impress myself. I really don't care what people say about me because I just know that if I'm comfortable with who I am, I would resonate to people who are comfortable with who I am. And to me, that does it. I'm comfortable with that. I'm okay with that. I don't need to impress you. I'm not doing this to impress you or you know, leave some form of you know impression on you about who I am or like why I'm doing this. I'm only simply doing this because I believe that there's a strategy to becoming more. I am calling on that strategy. I'm doing it. Every time I do it, I come to the camera and I explain the outcomes, the procedures I've taken, you know, during those strategies I've implemented. It, you know, I mean, if you if you followed me in the past, you know, I did a content called Service to Many because I believe, and it's really true, that you can only make money, you can only be very successful when you offer services to many. And that's why I do this. Because it's some form of a service to many for me. Tying that back to faking it till you make it, to, to, to make it is critical. You don't have to be under that pressure of trying to be who you're not or who you're not created to be. Because, and most of the time, what even really, really puzzles me is that the main culprit behind the fake it till you make it statement are people that don't even care about you. They don't even know you exist. They don't even share your problems. They don't share your concerns. They don't share your inspirations. They don't share your goals. They don't care. When you see yourself constantly trying to live up to expectations that they did not set for you. How about you set the expectations for yourself? And watch your life drastically change for the better. Have better peace of mind. Focus on your health, focus on creation, creating, strategizing, implementing, executing. Don't worry about all that, you know, and most of all these things are also tied to materialism. 
once you have said it properly, once you are doing the right things, those things will come naturally and you will live in that life real and not faking it to making it. It will be natural. You will be able to take trips, you will be able to afford the luxuries of life and those things that resonate with being successful because you have done and put in the right amount of work. You have built credibility over the years. People can trust your brand. People can trust what's coming out of your mouth. People can trust who you are and what you say. Eventually, it attracts all the other things, all the other attributes I speak about. The good life, money, amazing friends, good health. They all come as an output of the input that is tied to the personal development our journey in alignment with the three pillar physical mental and spiritual put in work smart work be patient focus you know go deaf to to these individuals who just tell you that it has to be you know this way and truly truly in, in you you know it's not supposed to be that way but you have to live a fake life to live in that way. Guys, really think about it. There's so much inferiority complex swimming around. There's so much fake individuals who you can smell from a mile away. All because they've just gotten their priorities all mixed up. Impress yourself. Set goals and aspirations for yourself. Not for your family, not for your dad, not for your mom, not for your brother, not for your sister, not for your neighbors, your community. Set it for yourself. Self. And it changes everything. It's your digital influencer of the content today. Fake it till you make it. Sucks. Ditch it. Lose it. Misplace it. Bury it. And I will definitely see you at the top. Let's all have a great one. Cheers.